Ever since the beginning of sprint car racing in the United States, the motorsport would start to grow more and more popular as the years went by, and eventually migrating to a handful of different countries, such as Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and even Canada. But one country out of those four has made a significant change in sprint car racing, and that is Australia. Australia has been the home to many talented drivers, such as Kerry Madsen, Gary Rush, Jamie Vale, and so, so many more. But there's one driver in particular that I'd like to talk about. And if you're a fan of the Valvoline 5, then you definitely know who I'm talking about. His name is Max Dumsney. Max Dumsney is an Australian sprint car driver who would find lots of success through the early 80s through the mid 2000s, winning three national championships and a total of 18 state titles. But driving sprint cars wasn't his only talent. He would also compete in the Australian NASCAR series, winning the 92-93 championship and also winning two titles for the Formula 500 series. So with this many titles, he has of course grown a legendary reputation in Australian sprint car racing and is even a well-known name in the States. So today, we'll be going over the career of Max Dumsney. Born on July 12, 1959, in Nolaware, Victoria, Max would spend his free time at the races watching his hero Bill Wigsell run around the banks of Premier Speedway, and he would get a job as a motorbike apprentice at Honda. So being familiar with bikes, he would start his career in motorbike racing in 1974, but his two-wheeled career would be cut short after getting into a terrible crash hitting a cow and breaking his arm in 25 places, and also his leg. So after this incident, Max knew that two-wheeled racing was just not for him, and he would move to four-wheeled racing in 1978, starting his Formula 500 career. But it wouldn't take long for him to dominate, and then he would win the 1980 Australian Formula 500 championship, and would repeat that success in 1982. But during this time, Max didn't have much hope for a future in racing, as he said in an interview for Sydney Speedway's YouTube channel in 2014. No, not at all. I actually thought I'd be into the sport and out within five years. No meet someone, have kids and settle down and the kids wouldn't even know that I've ever raced. <laughs> that, that plan got derailed? Yeah. Now just a year after this, Max would make the most important decision of his life, moving the sprint cars in 1983, and would win the Wayne Fisher Memorial that exact year becoming his first ever major sprint car win. In 1984, Max would join forces with John Sidney, which would lead to Max winning his first ever South Australian Sprint Car Championship. In addition, winning the New South Wales Sprint Car Championship, which these would be the first of many championships he'd have in his career. In 1985, Max would travel to the United States to compete in a couple World of Outlaws races. During the Race of States, which was the second of three features of the third night of the Nationals, Max would battle it out with Doug Wolfgang, going nose to tell for most of the race and in the end beating Wolfgang by 10 yards, becoming the first ever Australian to win a feature at Knoxville Raceway. And to this day, Max still claims that this is his biggest highlight of his career. 1988 would be a very important year for Max, as Valvoline would start their lifelong sponsorship with him, which they are still sponsoring his family's team to this day. So with having one of the best sponsorships in motorsports, he would have record-breaking success in the early 90s, winning the 89-90 World Series Sprint Car Championship, and in the span of 1991 through 1992, Max would win the 1991 Australian Sprint Car Championship, making it his first ever national title, and adding on two huge victories in 1992, that being the Grand Annual Sprint Car Classic and the Australian Speed Car Grand Prix. Around this time, Max would partake in the Australian NASCAR series and finding victory winning the 92-93 championship. Max was absolutely dominating. I mean, look at his 93 highlights. In 1996, Max would compete in the Australian Touring Car Championship, finishing in 16th place and would also compete in the Bathurst 1000, ending up in 12th. And two years after this in 1998, Max would win his second ever Australian Sprint Car Championship and would head into the 2000s with much expectation and he sure did meet those expectations, winning the 2000 Valvoline Grand Prix and a handful of other huge races. The year following, Max would be awarded the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame Driver of the Year Award after a phenomenal season with 17 feature wins. 2002 would be the year that Max would win his third and final Australian Sprint Car Championship and would be the final year of Max's road course career, competing in the VS Supercar Series. Through the rest of the 2000s, Max would have a couple more state titles and many more big races, such as the Cricky Boy Shootout, the Australian Sprint Car Open, and the President's Cup, just to name a few. Max wouldn't have much of an eventful early 2010s, other than placing third in the 2010 Knoxville Nationals World Challenge. He would eventually start finding success again in 2014, winning the New South Wales Sprint Car Track Championship and the second annual Sprint Car Classic. 
The year after in 2015, Max would win the New South Wales Sprint Car title, making it his 18th and final state championship. This year, Max would also get an annual race named after him, called Max's Race, and is still being held each December at Premier Speedway. 2016 would be Max's last consequential year, unveiling his four-car team with the sons of Mitchell, Matt, and Marcus. Having his last bit of success, winning the NSW Ultimate Sprint Car Championship in the Hard Charger of the Year Award, Max would also get inducted into the Australian Speedway Hall of Fame, and three years later in 2019, he would get inducted into the Australian Motorsport Hall of Fame. Max has become a role model to many drivers out there, being one of the most talented Australian drivers of the past couple decades. And as you guys could see, his number of victories and championships completely backed that up. His kids have even followed in his footsteps, with all of them showing their talent on the track, with his son Marcus even winning the 2022 Australian Sprint Car Championship. Max and his wife Melinda currently reside in Nelson, Victoria, and is a Hoosier Tire distributor and has been ever since 1992, even manufacturing his own racing wheels called Max Wheel. He has been involved in racing for almost 50 years and has made a huge impact in Australian Sprint Car racing, and that is why Max Dumsney is a Sprint Car legend.